And tonight, hundreds of thousands of people have fled Ukraine. But what actually happens once they make it across the border? Fox 2's Stephanie Rothman speaks with an Edwardsville couple that has raised $30,000 to be distributed by friends and family in Poland. Stephanie. Well, the Matras family just started collecting donations on Monday by those who know about their personal connections, but word has spread like wildfire and they're now making an impact from afar. Men, women and children fleeing to the West and to Poland being met with unimaginable circumstances around the world. Many want to support these victims of war, but don't know where to start. But one Edwardsville couple has found a way. We probably at least have helped 70 to 100 people in the past day. What started as a donation here and there has turned into $30,000 in just a matter of days. It's touching. There have been many tears. I cannot believe how generous people are. It is incredible how many people did want to help, and we just had a unique opportunity. Christine's husband, Mikhail, is originally from Poland. Many of his friends and family still live there in a town an hour away from the border. With their help, donations collected in the St. Louis area are sent back to Poland, where 100% of the proceeds are used to buy supplies. The bigger car, the better. They're filling them up with the food and supply and anything, anything they can fit there, anything people, people will donate. And they drive those full cars full of stuff uh, to the border. They unload everything there because there's so many people there. They unload, they feed them, they do whatever they can. And then they come back home to, let's say, to my hometown. Uh, they come back with the car full of people. Sheltering refugees wherever they can find space. So there were six kids from three different families being separated from the moms. The moms got lost somewhere. They couldn't find them. There was thousands of people. They were standing there for about a day, supposedly without the mom, without the parents. So he took all six of them. One of many stories for countless still to come. I don't know where those people are going to go, how many we can accommodate, how many we can feed, but right now it's just a pure survival mode. If you would like to help, you can donate via the account's family Venmo account, or you can help via an assisted um, nonprofit that's helping the family. Reporting in downtown St. Louis, Stephanie Rothman, Fox 2 News.